how do i fill out the application form how do i convert my gpa do i need to fill out the form with a pen all of those questions have been coming and some people even want me to make a video on how to fill the application form here is the video hi welcome my name is clifford or call me daddy cliff as it is on the youtube channel and i am here to help you succeed in the global career scholarship i am a phd student living in south korea for more than six years now and i am in the final year of my phd my final semester without wasting too much time let's get into the application form and see how we can fill out the undergraduate application form for global career scholarship now welcome back this is a 2023 global career scholarship undergraduate degree application checklist and it begins with you choosing your track in this situation we will go with university track we'll select that one by clicking once and then the next thing that we have to do is select the university Let's type Arju University that's my alma mater in Swan and then the next thing that you have to do is type your names you begin with your family name it doesn't matter if you type in small letters though like the first letter is cap and then the next ones are in small letter all right your citizenship let's take an african country let's take ghana and then checklist next one is checklist they want you to do the checklist by using it by using a tick sign so you have to check here in this section but i will advise that you do the checklist at the very end of your application like at the period when you are about to post your document for review because for example some people might be planning on writing maybe korean exams and maybe they might end up not writing the exams some might be planning on writing maybe an english exams and maybe the results might come out late something might happen and you might end up not submitting that document because the checklist is just a list of documents that you will submit in your application so i would advise that you leave the checklist and submit and check or indicate the documents that you will submit at the end either way this is how you would have to do the checklist all right so here this is the checklist but in the pdf version so that i'll be able to use pen application form it's obvious that you will send it so you tick personal statement you must send it so you will tick study plan you would have to send so you will tick letter of recommendation is a must gks applicant agreement you must submit personal medical you must submit you tick and then proof of citizenship if you have a proof of citizenship you have to submit these are required documents so you must submit high school graduation certificate or certificate of expected graduation if you've graduated then you have your document you would submit but if you have not yet graduated but you have a document that prove that you will graduate before february 28th it's very important that you take that you take note of that date you have to check academic transcript of high school curriculum transcript you have to submit graduation certificate or certificate of expected graduation if you will graduate soon you have to provide a document that shows that you will graduate soon you have to equally check and then for associate degree if you are on an associate degree you have to provide transcript but let's assume that in this situation most of you are undergraduate and then if you have topic you will have to check if you have copy of awards if you have any award some people do not have and then you have applicants passport you have to check so that's it about the checklist let's go back to the word version all right since we are done with the checklist next thing is go to form one global korea scholarship application form they say items marked in red are required for all applicants click the box to check or uncheck so application track which one university track next one type of application embassy is it general or overseas 
Is it University UIC? Is it Regional Associate Degree? Okay, so here I will select University Track UIC. And then it all depends on you. You have to know what you are applying for. And then the next one is bachelor's degree we are not doing associate but if you are doing associate degree you select that one you check that one and then desired field of study you can select multiple fields it's okay please refer to the university information file refer to the university information file so if you are into liberal arts you have to check that social science you have to check natural science since we are doing uic we will go with natural sciences okay they said you can select two so we can select artificial intelligence no problem number five information of the applicant remember it says the first one is family name and then giving names remember i always say it is okay to write it in handwriting but if you know you have a very bad writing it's better you type it on the computer because it will be readable so if you want to write in pen, good, but make sure your writing is super good. And the next thing is you have to provide a picture. And remember, this picture is supposed to be a transparent white background. Don't provide a picture that has maybe something on the background. It should be white. Like this background is not good for this picture. Okay. Next thing that you need to do is your date of birth they've given you the example here so you can just go here and maybe change it to 98 and maybe change it to 9 and then maybe change this to 29 but what you need to do is change this one to black and times new romance and then what you need to equally do is delete the eg delete the eg okay next one is gender male check that one country of citizenship let's use an african country korean citizenship applicant yes if you have a korean citizenship yes but no your parents mom dad do they have korean citizenship no and the next one is your address you would have to type your address in ghana address in ghana goes here but in case you don't have an address you can use the address of maybe an organization maybe a church an ngo but make sure that it is an association that maybe knows you so that in case there is contact or maybe there is a mail a letter they should be able to contact you and tell you that okay you have a letter from maybe a school in south korea so that you don't miss out on your application in case the university decides to contact you by writing a letter next one is phone number start with the country code country code it begins with plus so for example south korea is plus 82 and then next thing is the other phone numbers All right it's easy right some other countries have country code that is maybe three digits okay next one is email new me at gmail.com it doesn't matter some people have never at never dot com some people have yahoo dot com some people have hotmail just write your own email all right that being said let's go to the next one language abilities topic test in korean language proficiency in case you have korean language exam certificate good for you which level in case you have level four just select level four in case you have level five just select level five in case you have level three just select level three and then the next thing is test held date of test remember in the application guideline it says from 71 to 85 
So let's assume that your third score says 82. You just have to write it there and maybe the year you change it to maybe 2022, maybe number zero six month and maybe 18. It's simple. What you do is you just go and delete EG in case you don't want to get confused. You just do it like that. And next thing that you can do is change the color and then the font size to Times New Roman. As simple as that. And then English proficiency. If you have TOEIC, they've given an example here. Just delete the EG and then input maybe your own is 855. As simple as that. And then what you need to do is, as usual, change the color to black. And then change the font size. This is important. Even in your personal statement. I will do a video on personal statement soon. Even in your personal statement, they want you to write in Times New Roman single spacing. Okay. You would have to select TOEIC because you have TOEIC. What if you don't have TOEIC? You have maybe IELTS. I know IELTS is on a scale of 9. So maybe you have IELTS 7.5. And then on a scale of maybe 9. You just write it like that. Either way, you would have to provide a photocopy of your test score. Okay. In case you don't have IELTS, you probably have TOEFL. You have to look at your document and look at the way... TOEFL writes their score. I don't know about TOEFL, so I cannot write it. You just need to make reference to your document and write it down. All right, next one is level of education. High school program required for all applicants. This is a must. So, high school name. Since we are dealing with Ghana, we just say Catholic High School. Ghana it's in red remember they said every section is red is a must it's compulsory you just change that to black and then the location of the country is in Ghana as always change it to black next one is period of attendance just simply delete EG this is for example Maybe your high school was from 2021 right up to maybe 2023 from 9 to 11 grade. As simple as that. 2023 means you will graduate in 2023, maybe in January or February. But know that if you're applying pending graduation, you should graduate before the 28th of February 2023. So you write it that way and next thing is change the color. Don't forget. And then change the font size to Time New Romans. Good. And then date of graduation. Since we are applying pending graduation, we will graduate soon. There is no need filling out this form. You would just have to go to date of expected graduation and then change this to numbers. 2023 maybe in january 01 and then maybe number 22 day but in case you have already graduated let's say you graduated this year 2022 you write it down and then month maybe you graduated on number six month and then maybe the day 23rd you write it as simple as that this information should be contained in your high school certificate or diploma so you have to make reference to your certificate you have to look at your certificate when filling out this form next thing that you have to do is if you are applying with an associate degree because associate degree applicants can apply to come and do their bachelor's degree it's the same thing university name maybe same thing catholic university of accra of Ghana next one is location it's in Ghana major maybe you did um, uh, engineering 
let's be specific mechanical engineering engineering but remember always change the color to black nobody likes red red in south korea represents a bad thing if you want to know go check my video i have a youtube shot on that next one is date of graduation if you've already graduated you just need to write the date just like we did with high school if you've been awarded the degree write the date it should be in your document if you have not yet graduated you don't have to fill out this section and this section you just have to come here and write down the year month and day of expected graduation and then have you ever earned a bachelor's degree in the past no if you've not yet have it but if you've had it right yes but know that you would not succeed in your application because one of the criteria for rejection is if you've already had a bachelor's degree you should no longer apply for another bachelor's degree that being said let's go to the next one number eight great points the next one is information on academic transcript so they've given examples here and this one you need to convert it to cgpa but in case you have a score that says 3.91 you no longer need to convert it to cgpa what you need to do is just come down here and write and write the same thing 3.91 obviously it is on a scale of 4.00 you write the same thing down here but now how do you get your percentile what you need to do now is take this 3.91 and refer yourself to the application guide this is the application guide in the application guide you have every information that you need to help you convert so here our example is on a scale of 4.0 for some university you have or some high school you have 4.3 4.5 and even scale of 5 so this is where we will focus our attention so we had a score of 3.91 if you look we do not fall here we fall here because this one begins from 3.88 to 3.91 which means our total point will be 98 you have to go back and write 98 here i hope it's easy very easy to understand right next thing is if you look at your document and find that maybe you have 3.71 then your percentile will be 94 okay let's take an example where your score or your scale is on five you just have to look at let's say you have 4.5 on five 4.51 on five point zero zero then it means your percentile will be 92 okay let's take the example of you having uh, a score of maybe three point something on a scale of 4.5 so let's say you have 3.71 on a scale of 4. Point, no on a scale of 4.3 sorry then it means you fall here and then your percentile is 88 you just take this number and go and write it there but in case you have a scaling system or um, um, a score system that is difficult to convert maybe your university has a converting system in the document or maybe they can issue you a document that explain the way they do their conversion of grades they should give you that document and then it should obviously have maybe your your high school letterhead and maybe if possible your high school stamp your principal can give you a document that explains the grading system from your school that will help the admission committee because if they cannot understand your grading system then it might be difficult for them to assess you and maybe you have very good scores but your grading system is making it difficult for them to know where you fall so it is for you to look for a means to make it easy for them but if you can grade it by yourself by following this system grade it and if you feel like it's easy to understand grade it and send it let's continue 
So like I said, this is for your general high school. Like maybe you've spent two years in high school and you graduated. This is for your final results on your transcript and your certificate. Because the next one will be for the years and the semesters that you were in the high school. So the next thing is must be confirmed by a school or university. In case like high school, maybe after converting like this, it is the same thing that is in your document. Say yes, type yes, type yes, like select yes. But in case your grading system is not like this, what do you do next? Remember that you are converting on a scale of 4, 4.3, 4.5 or 5 as it is on this document or on a scale of 100, like maybe 70 on 100. But in case your university uses but maybe A plus or maybe they use just A as the highest score, you have to indicate like I said and then look for a document from your school ask them to give you an official document which states that maybe a plus is equal to maybe 100 point or maybe a is equal to 100 point they should give you a document that indicates that it is for you to look for a means to make it easy for the applicant committee guys it's your job you are the one that wants South Korea to spend their money to uh, to educate you so you have to look for a means to make it easy for them to understand in some other countries a might be equal to maybe 80 or 90 percent could be 80 or 90 a could be 80 or 90 percent you should be able to get a document that indicates that a is equal to 90 percent and let's say then maybe A plus is probably equals to 100%. You have to look for documents from your school that explains the grading system to make it easy for your people who are evaluating you to be able to evaluate you without any problem. So in case at the end you had maybe A plus and that's probably equivalent to maybe 95. It's okay for you to come down here and equally write 95 percent as your grade and then what you have to do here is come to this same section and equally write 95 there is no point in panicking when filling out this form if you have documents that explain it indicate the document provide the document don't panic about the grading system don't worry now it is important that there could be another situation where maybe your CGPA or your GPA or whatever is calculated on a scale of 10. So let's say you have 8 on a scale of 10 and you need to convert it to CGPA. How do you go about this? You simply have to take 8, divide by 10 and then multiply by the grade point. That's CGPA on a scale of maybe 4, on a scale of maybe 4.3, on a scale of maybe 4.5. Or on a scale of five so let's use the calculator to do it so if i bring up the calculator and i take eight divided by ten that gives me 0 0.8 and then i multiply it now by the first cgpa conversion that's 4.0 4.0 that will give me 3.2 so you would have to write 3.2 here and then how do you get now the percentile let's delete this what you need to do is go and look for 3.2 on the conversion table 3.2 on a scale of 4 3.2 we'll have it here 3.15 to 3.23 which means our percentile would be 86 what you need to do is go here and write eight six all right let's take another example maybe you have but seven how do you get the conversion down here in percentile what you need to just do is do the same thing but let's say this time around it's on a scale of 4.3 so you take 
7 divided by 10 that gives you 0 0.7 and then multiply by 4.3 that will give you 3.01 you would write 3.01 here and then go to the same conversion table and under 4.3 look for 3.01 it is within this range that will means your percentile would be 82 all you need to do is go write 82 here that answers the question okay maybe it's on a scale of five and maybe you had nine nine on ten and you need to convert this one what do you do you do the same thing nine divided by ten that gives you 0 0.9 times 5.0 that's if we assume you are using this one you have 4.5 what do you do you go again here and look the scale of 5.0 where is 4.5 4.5 is from here or exactly here because we have exactly 4.5 so that means it's here you have 91 simply write 91 here as simple as that i hope it answers the question that being said you must provide a document that can be confirmed from your school so get a document from your school and then check yes here so that they would know that this is authentic it's coming from your school it's not coming from you okay the next one is remember this one is the total for the number of years that you spent in high school but now here in this area you have high school according to years some school some countries have high schools that are two years other countries have school high schools that are two years some are three some are four some are just one year and some countries do not have semesters but in this situation you have one year two semesters semester one semester two second year semester one semester two third year semester one semester two fourth year semester one semester two what if you fall in a situation where you have just two years in the university and maybe two semesters it's okay if your cgpa has been converted on a scale of maybe 4 or 4.3 or 4.5 then write it but if it has not been converted for example there is an example here 3.95 on a scale of 5 then you have to fill it out but if it does not provide GPA per semester it's written down here if your transcript only indicates CGP and does not provide GPA per semester then leave the table so in case you have gpa if it provides gpa then maybe first year on a scale of four you had maybe 3.91 then come and write on a scale of four point zero you write it like that and then second semester you probably had 3.88 right on a scale of four point zero and then that's second semester in one year then in the second year of high school you probably had 3.44 on a scale of 4.0 and then second semester you probably had 3.99 on a scale of 4 simply fill it out like that same thing for third year first semester third year fourth semester no second semester fourth year first semester fourth year second semester but in case you have only two years fill out just sem um, year one semester one and two year two semester one and two but some countries do not have semesters it is important to know that some countries do not have semesters they just have academic year one year like beginning beginning to the end one year what do we do 
It's simple. You write the GPA for the one year, and then come to the second year, write also the GPA, maybe 3.99 on a scale of 4.0. As simple as that. Don't worry about the GPA, and then provide document. Your document should probably explain that you don't have semesters, you have just a school year. So in case high school is four years and it's just one semester, not two semesters, then write here and then go to the fourth semester, write it here. But if you have two semesters, indicate it. I hope that's easy to understand. I repeat again, it says GPA indicated on your original transcript. GPA indicated on your original transcript and then they say if your academic transcript only indicates CGPA and does not provide GPA per semester then you may leave this table empty you may but if you don't want to leave it if you are still worried it's okay they understand it's not going to make you fail don't worry in case it's on a scale of 100 you have 89 Right on a scale of 100. Don't get stressed out with this. On a scale of 100. That's in a case where you have two semesters per year. You fill it out. But it will be the same case if you have third year, fourth year. And then you would have to fill out these portions. First semester, second semester. But in a case where you have only one semester. Then you can just simply provide one semester in one year. They understand every country has their educational system so don't worry about it too much number nine choice of university and department university field of study department others which one have you chosen is it embassy track you select in this example i am using university track so we will choose university track in the university track before you fill out university track it is important for you to go to the application guideline this is a application guideline university track this is it okay and uic university industrial corporation has 10 universities these are the universities beginning from aju dehakyo aju university that's my master's degree university and then Yongjin, it's a very good university. Yongjin University, Aju is a very good university. I'm promoting Aju for free. Okay, so you have to make reference to this document to fill out this one. What is the condition for university track? You have to know the conditions of university track before you fill out the university track. University track says. UIC program is open to all countries around the world. All countries around the world. Aju University has nine quota. It can select, accept nine students and it has to be software engineering. Kunya University has two departments. Department of Cyber Security, Department of Medical Artificial Intelligence. They have five slots. They will accept five students. Kumi University school of software school of software school of artificial intelligence they will accept six that's it for university track now since i am selecting university track they say choose universities among type a or type b for university track they've given you the rules to follow so if i want to apply for university track remember up here if you go up here you have type a and you have type B. There is Aju University that is on this university track. Simple, just come here. If you don't want to get confused, just come and select your universities. If you are applying for university track, just come and select your universities here based on the program that you want to study. So let's assume that you want to study, let's go to where you have the programs. University Industrial Corporation, 55 scholars needed, open to all countries. Let's say you want to study computer software engineering. And it is offered by Sun Chun Yang University. What you have to do is come to your document here and type the university's name. Sun 
Sunchun Yang University. Sunchun Yang University. I hope I got the spelling well. There is H here. Just write it like that. Now, field of study. Remember up here, you had field of study. What did we select? Natural science or artificial intelligence. So just go down there and write natural science. As simple as that. Or natural sciences. It's okay. And then department. What are the departments under this natural science? Okay. Computer software engineering. That's what I want to study. Go and write computer software engineering. As simple as that. And then in case you want to give a second option. Remember when we were applying, we said natural science and artificial intelligence, AI. That's where we have the option of selecting another university. So in Cookman University, they have School of Artificial Intelligence. So you would go to your application, right? What do you write here? School of Artificial Intelligence. Remember I said you can also write in smaller letters. Look, this guideline has smaller letters. It will not be a problem. Like embassy begins with E and the rest is small letters. So if you write in first letter caps and then the rest in small letters, it's okay. Do not worry about that. That's not what they will use to grade you. Attention, please refer to university information file posted in the application guideline if necessary. Copy and paste. So, if I don't want to make mistake, I can just can just come here, copy and then go and paste. As simple as that. When you're typing from your computer, you just copy and paste or you type it out. Now, embassy track applicants choose up to three different universities in any order of preference. However, choice one must be from type B university. University track applicants must choose one university. Field of study, division, and department should match the information provided in the university information. So, since we are using university track, they say you must choose one university. And what did we choose? Sun Chun Yan University, field of natural science, computer science. If you want to be certain that it's correct, this is it. Sun Chun Yan University, you can just copy and go and paste and then computer software engineering in case you have a problem with the field of studies because we chose natural science what you have to do is go to the school's document documents in their website or you can email them and they will send it to you so like the field of studies every information that you might want they have it here and then they even have deadlines for everything they have even the checklist they are telling you what you must do require certificate must be apostilled or consular confirmed which means you have to choose one so that's why i usually say you if you're using university track you have to go to the university and find out what they want a number of documents to submit one apostilled or consular confirmed document so choose one but if you decide to do Apostle and state consular confirm no problem. It's okay. Then they say application deadline must be delivered to Sunchon. So your documents must get to them by October 27. Every university has their own deadline. Here we wrote natural sciences, but if you look at their application guideline, that's the document from Sunchon University. Theirs is in the field of engineering. Engineering is all natural science. So even if you come here and remove natural science and put engineering, no problem. Don't worry. Based on the fact that this document has its own divisions, it has natural science and it has engineering. If you are very worried, you can uncheck this, uncheck this, and then just select engineering because we have engineering in the divisions. And then that will make it easy. Now you have engineering in the division and then you have department, department of software engineering, which is what is in the guideline provided by Sun Chun Yon University, which is here, the department, 
just like it is here department computer software engineering and then if you equally go to the application guideline provided by korean government if you go down you would find the same thing at the level of university department if you go down so in your university computer software and department which matches with the department here there you have it right and now for those applying to university track it's simple the same procedure name given name middle name ghana and then everything like i said i explained about the checklist you do the same thing with the checklist by checking everything here the only area where it changes is here remember for university track we took university so here you will take embassy track general and then you have to go to the application guideline where you have embassy track and university track so you have the universities type a and type b while you have this form open what you need to do next is go back to your application form it should be like a reference to you embassy track now you have to choose the field of studies let's say you want to do social sciences or what about liberal arts let's choose social sciences you would fill out your name same thing and then continue go down topic everything is basically the same everything is the same like have you earned a bachelor's degree in the past the answer was is supposed to be no about gpa cgpa it's the same about gpa indicated in your original tr academic transcript is the same the only area is number nine choice of university and department in case you chose liberal arts but here we chose natural science let's just leave it at liberal arts and then go back up there change it to liberal arts remember we can choose more so you have liberal arts when you're typing from the computer it's easy to save time just convert this to black and change this to time new romance and then now in the field of liberal arts what are the departments that are available they said you have to select embassy track not university track in this case and then you have choices you have choice one choice two choice three remember you can choose here it says only from b choose universities among a and b because the rule is that if we go back to this form the rule is that you must choose at least two from here and then one from here or one from here two from here you must choose at least one from b you must choose at least one from b this is it. embassy track applicants may choose up to three different universities from type a and must from type a and b and must apply to at least one of the universities listed under type b so you must select from this poll you must do it they say choose universities only one from type b liberal arts department how do you know the department the thing that you need to do is go to the website the study in korea website this website and then it has university information it's in zipped form which means you have to open you have to download when you download it would come out in the form of a zip you have to extract you have to unzip and then you would have list of universities like this what you need to do is look let's say you want to come and study in daegu university so you would look here you open the documents it has some english daegu university overview of university here you have the colleges college division and department just go and write university you have to delete this one and then write daegu university and then liberal arts you want to study liberal arts you have to go to liberal arts and then look for what is under liberal arts global foreign language sports and leisure you have digital literature so let's say you want to do digital literature what you would do is you come to the form and then write digital literature as simple as that if you have a second option you have to go to the file and look for another option maybe you want to study physical education right physical education and then now 
In this section, they say choose universities among type A and type B. This one that we've chosen is type B, which means if we want, we can select another type B. And then here we must select type A. So it says you must select at least one from type B. We've already selected one from type B, which is Daegu University. Type A or B. So you have to make reference to the application guide again. So here you have type A universities. You have 24 institutions. Let's take Hanguk University of Foreign Studies. You have to go now to the document that we downloaded that has every university and look for Hanguk University. This is it, Foreign Studies. And I think this should be the application guideline. All right. So the first section is always in Korean. And then you have the information. Hanguk University of Foreign Studies. So College of English. Let's say you want to study English. What do you have to do? You go back to the application form they want you to type the name of the university the name of the university is hanguk university i'll just copy here and then i'll go and paste hanguk university of foreign studies i have it there the font size is big i'll bring it back to 11. remember you have to always delete the information up there that's the name of the university and then what is the department next is what is the field of study maybe college of humanities you go and write college of humanities what is the department the department is here maybe department of philosophy department of history department of linguistic and cognitive science or just copy and then go and paste department of cognitive science all right you have it there like that the next one is choice number three you still go to type a or type b type a let's select another university university of seoul so here what we have to do first is delete that one and then write university of seoul and then field of study what is the field of study we have to go now back to the departments and find university of seoul you university of seoul this is it and then look at the guideline we open it always in korean first because we are in korea look for the department here the college college of public affairs and economics but what do we want we want field of studies field of major is humanity and society you look at it maybe we want to study economics so we will just copy this paste here and then next thing is we go again to the same form because now we need the department the department is economics we copy and then we go and paste easy peasy that's it like i said if you want you can add other options that's to give you more opportunities because maybe college of humanities department of linguistic and cognitive science might not want you but maybe department of korean language might want you and then here in this department maybe Economics might not want you, but maybe science in taxation might want you. So go down, right? Science in taxation. That's also to give you more chances. So fill it out, no problem. But remember, you have to always change the colors and then put them in time romance. Here also, we have to remove choose type B. Yeah. So here we have one university from type b one university from type a and the second university from type b that answers the question and we've selected embassy track the next one previously received scholarship from korean government if any if you've ever received a scholarship from korean government you have to indicate like the period from what time to what time maybe you were here before for korean language and then finished through korean government and then you decided to go back home without doing your undergraduate write it there but in case you did not get any scholarship from korean government it's okay maybe you had a scholarship from maybe samsung to come and only study korean language St indicate indicate the period maybe from 2020 to 2022 write it down and then write samsung scholarship and then sponsored by who samsung that scholarship should have a name so if you have the name you put it down 
if you don't have the name but you should obviously have a name of a scholarship like this one is global career scholarship so there should be a name for samsung scholarship there you have the period from 2020 to 2022 samsung scholarship and then samsung is a sponsor if you had another one indicate here but if you don't if you did not receive any scholarship to come to south korea leave it empty and go to the next one the answers I have given above are true and correct to the best of my knowledge. If any answers contain any kind of falsehood, I will take any legal responsibility. Yes, you write down the date. The date of today is 2022 and the month is 09 and the day is 17. And then applicant's full name and then signature. Signature here, you would have to print it out and then sign. So. You can fill this out and then at the level of signatures just let them be after you must have printed the whole form you can then sign the next one is personal statement i would make a video on personal statement but remember when you're writing your personal statement you have to take into account all of this and try not to follow the chronology of things here because if you follow these things as it has been laid out motivation with which to apply educational background significant experience you have your personal statement might not have a style it might not flow well so i'll do a video on personal statement later on study plan video will come recommendation letter it is important that you know how to do things with your recommendation letter in the recommendation letter i always say it what you need to do is fill out your name first country Ghana, desired degree, bachelor's degree, intended major, computer, you fill it out like that. And then after you must have filled it out this way, you can now email this letter to your teacher. If your teacher is maybe a person whom you cannot meet physically, you can email the section that has letter of recommendation. You can remove it or you can copy all of this section. You can copy all of this section and then go and open another word document you paste basically it's the same thing you can then email your teacher this document after you must have filled out your name your country desired degree intended major so it says instruction fill in your name and other required information below and deliver or email this form to the person who will write the recommendation letter request your referee to seal the letter of recommendation in an official envelope and sign across the back flap recommendation letters that are not dated signed or sealed will not be accepted in this section down it says to be filled by the referee so after you must have filled out this section your teacher or maybe your principal has to fill out the bottom the next one form number five gks applicant agreement as an applicant for 2023 global career scholarship for undergraduate degree program i agree to abide by the following you have to agree to all of these the information i have provided in this application form are true and accurate tick i understand that all the documents submitted to need for gks will not be returned regardless of the final outcome of selection process agree you don't have any room to say no to anything here you don't have any choice so there's no point in me reading them out just simply check everything and then to continue in the next page collection and use of personal data agree you cannot disagree they would pro they would collect your medical report everything and keep it for at least five years as hard copy and 20 years for soft copy i agree and then i confirm that i read all the above in condition I also understand that the violation of any one of the above might result in warning or cancellation of the scholarship. You write the year beginning by 2022. This is 09 and the date of today is 17. And the next one is applicant's name. 
at the level of signature I said you have to print it out before you can sign so you fill out all the information you fill out all the information and then you would print out the final document and then sign wherever you have to sign you cannot sign in the computer unless you have an electronic signature okay form number six personal medical assessment gender is male your height if you have your height in centimeter uh, one meter 89 and then maybe your kilogram is maybe 56 you write it down question have you ever had an infectious disease if it's no say no if yes explain have you had allergies no just basically say no everywhere in case it applies to you but where, don't lie please do not lie wherever it applies to you say no everyone no but if you are pregnant say yes okay and then And then signature or as always you have to print it out before you can put in your signature that being said we've come to the end of the application form if there is anything that you did not understand please let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel